I strongly believe that in order to have a, an impact in, in society, it is very important to collaborate very closely with industry. That's why we, we started also a, a center a focus on two-dimensional materials. It's called the MIT MTL a Center for Graphing Devices and Two-Dimensional uh, Systems. And this center basically brings together around 15 to 20 research groups at, at MIT with roughly 10 companies from all around the world to work on graphene and other two-dimensional uh, semiconductors and, and materials. These 2D materials are, are truly unique. I mean, they are the, the thinnest materials uh, you can think of. They are just made of one atom thick. But even though they, they are only one atom thick, they are the strongest materials we, we know of. They are roughly 100 to 200 times stronger than, than steel and, and much lighter. They are truly extreme materials. There is nothing lighter, there is nothing more flexible, there is nothing more transparent, the, there is nothing better for electronic devices. What we are trying to do in collaboration with all the industrial partners and, and the many groups at, at MIT uh, working on, on these materials is to identify the first few applications where these materials can, can have an impact. Electronics has completely changed our world. But electronics is in very specific objects in our lives. We have a lot of electronics in our computers, we have electronics driving the internet, enabling communications, cell phones, automobiles, etc. But 95% of the objects we own don't have any electronics in them. And I think that's a tremendous opportunity for the future of electronics. What we try to do uh, with two-dimensional semiconductors is bring electronics to the 95% of the objects that we own that don't have any electronics in them. We want to bring electronics to my jacket, to this table in front of us, to the walls of, of, of this room. Ubiquitous electronics is allowing us to integrate electronic circuits and, and components in every object. For example, we, we've taken some of these two-dimensional materials and we've integrated it into a piece of paper or a, in fa a, some fabric and, and textiles. A, we are making electronic circuits on, on a piece of transparent plastic. That's just the beginning. I mean, sure, we, we've integrated these things on, on basic materials, but I, I believe that the future is on bringing all these structures, all these two-dimensional structures, into everyday uh, objects. So we are modifying a, a 3D printer to be able to, to print all kind of objects that integrate sensors. Uh, we, we are making a transparent, flexible display made of these 2D materials that you can basically fold uh, uh, and keep in your pocket. And when, when you want to, to use the display, you just unfold it to pretty much a, any, any dimension you need. We, we made a, a patch that we can apply to the chest to, to be able to, to measure the electrical signals coming out of the heart. Uh, those are just some of the applications that we are working on, uh, trying to make ubiquitous electronics a, a reality.